Hello, I'm Anthony Hughes, and I'm here to tell you about the new Library Manager in Dorico 4. Those of you who have watched some of my previous videos might remember how often I talk of Dorico being options-based and that there are central places to set these options that then influence the way a project controls music item appearance, layout differences between full scores and instrumental parts, fonts used for various textiles, and so on. And Dorico now sports numerous editors for all kind of different notation types, such as note heads and lines, playing techniques, chord symbols. It's all incredibly powerful, though with so much customization, it can be difficult to replicate house styles and personal preference across multiple projects. The first step to help managing all of this information is the bringing together of all of these option dialogues and collection editors into one library menu, accessible in every mode and a one-stop shop for all the customizations Dorico has to offer. At the bottom of this new library menu, you will find the library manager. The idea behind the library manager is to allow you to manage a consistent set of appearance styles and options across your projects. You can see how every option is set and how every style is defined in your current project, and then compare those settings against the factory defaults, your own user library, so where you've saved certain options and styles as defaults, or against any other Dorico project. You can then pick and choose which of those options you would like to import into your current project. Use the toggle buttons at the top of the dialog to set what you are comparing the current project to. Click Dorico Project to open a file browser and choose one of your projects, or simply drag a Dorico Project onto the drop area. The sidebar shows all of the options and collections that are available. Choose an option set or collection, and the main area will update to show those options, grouped by the same categories that are used in their dedicated dialogues. You can easily see if all options in a category match or if there are differences. Click on a category section header in order to disclose it and show all of the individual options. Matching options are shown with a blue tick and non-matching options are shown with a red inequality sign. When you find an option you would like to import into the current project, click it to prime it for import. A primed option is indicated by turning green and showing the import arrow. You can change your mind simply by clicking it again. You can also click the indicator on a section header to import all options in that category. The actual import happens when you click Apply. You can search for specific options or filter non-matching options. Layout options are layout specific, and so you can choose which of the source project's layout to compare against. And notation options are flow specific. So again, you can choose the flow whose options you would like to see. Compare collections in much the same way. With many collections, a preview will show you the difference between the two items and you can disclose an item to see more detailed settings. Note that only items used in a project will appear in the library. So collections can vary considerably between projects. When you import a collection item, any dependent items will also be brought across. And this might include things such as a font style or graphic that's part of a playing technique. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up to let me know and subscribe to the Dorico channel right now to see much more like this. I'm Anthony Hughes. Thanks for watching.